Ever since Sony Entertainment announced its acquisition of the Evolution Championship series, one big question surrounding the news was what the future of Super Smash Bros. would be going forward. That question has finally been answered on February 26th, when EVO put out a statement on Twitter confirming that the series will not be making a return appearance, stating, quote, Since 2007, we've seen historic Super Smash Bros. moments created at EVO's events. We are saddened that Nintendo has chosen not to continue that legacy with us this year. In the future, we hope to once again celebrate the Super Smash Bros. community alongside them. Nintendo and Smash Bros. have had a rocky history with EVO ever since its initial run at the tournament. Originally making its debut at EVO 2007, it became the biggest Smash tournament of the year with 270 players. In the following two years, the event was met with some criticism due to the format for Super Smash Bros. Brawl, before the game was dropped for a period of time. The game eventually made its return in 2013 when Melee won a donation drive to be the eighth game on the official lineup. However, just three days before the start of the tournament, Nintendo's legal department attempted to shut down the tournament entirely, and informed EVO that they would not be allowed to stream the tournament. Following widespread backlash from the community, Nintendo retracted the decision and allowed the tournament to proceed. Smash has been a mainstay of EVO with at least one game in its series making the main stage every year until now. This time around, the decision to not return to EVO could be thought of as a bit more understandable, considering Sony's ownership of the tournament potentially being a point of conflict. Along with that, Nintendo already running an official Super Smash Bros. circuit in collaboration with Panda Global may also play a role in the decision to step away from EVO. However, there has been a lack of information that has come out since the initial announcement of the circuit, leaving the community in the dark about when it'll finally take place. Overall, considering Nintendo's history with Smash Bros. tournaments, especially in recent years, and a lot of skepticism surrounding the official circuit, the announcement was met with a lot of negativity by the community. But some members of the community have been trying to make the most of a bad situation, trying to drum up support for other tournaments such as Double Down. Along with that, Twitch streamer Ludwig has also hinted that he'll put on another Smash tournament to replace EVO, following the success of his Ludwig Championship Series 4. At the end of the day, while the Smash community has had its own fair share of criticism, directed towards EVO, such as its prize pool split and format, the loss of the game at the event will still be a huge hit for both sides. Although the community is working hard to make up for the loss, it'll be hard to make up for the potential audience from other games that EVO brings. Hopefully, the series will be able to make a return in the future, but considering Nintendo's stance, that future doesn't seem to be very likely. But what do you think? Does Smash need EVO? Does EVO need Smash? As always, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe for more news and other videos, and thank you for watching.